What's up guys, Spider here, and a few people have asked me about uh, these items here, the plasma drives. So I'm going to show you in a video. So we've got this plasma drive uh, vehicle upgrade. Permanently upgrades an equipped rare sparrow to improve overall speed and durability. Now it doesn't look like this one, this one actually gives you the contrail. So I don't know. Uh, it looks blue, so you'd think it does. Uh, it's 23 strange coins. This one's an emerald coil. So this one actually a gives you the option here, a strangely tuned drive that produces a greenish contrail under boost and also permanently upgrades an equipped rare. Okay, so I don't have I don't have a rare sparrow. My other character has a legendary sparrow that I got from the uh, the vault of glass, the raid, but I don't have one. So I'm going to spend my my vanguard points to buy a new rare sparrow just so I can show you guys. Just so I can show you guys 175 vanguard points to buy this new sparrow which i don't really need but it's cool and then we're gonna spend 23 coins to upgrade it all right so we're just gonna go over to the vanguard quartermaster and we're gonna buy this new sparrow and we're gonna show you the new the sparrow without the contrail okay just to show you what the difference is i mean it does have a bit of a contrail it's just like you know fire i guess so let's go over here hey ronnie what's up ronnie we're gonna buy a sparrow. Which one should we buy? I don't know. I'll buy this one. There. Okay. Sparrow S-31V. So we're gonna go to orbit. We're gonna go onto one of the planets. Uh, may as well go. I don't know. Where should we go? Let's go onto Mars. It always looks better on Mars. I think. Just the contrast, the color contrast, looks better on Mars. Uh, so we gotta equip the uh, the sparrow obviously first. And uh, take a look. We're going to go to Mars, Patrol, excellent, launching, and let's equip the Sparrow, first of all. There we go. So, 100 durability, it sports an improved power plant. So, you can use L1, R1 for the lateral movement, similar to the, uh, to the legendary. We can hold L2, R2 is the break, so we don't get the L2, R2 to give it, like, that serious boost. That's only available on the legendary sparrows, apparently. That's cool. Just run the Vault of Glass three times a week until you get it, okay? So we'll meet you on the planet here, and uh, we'll check out the sparrow. All right, here we are on Mars! Let's go! So let's check it out. So, yeah, it's got the, well, you know, it's got there. some flames coming out of it, like that. It's pretty cool. Um, so we can do the, uh, L1, R1, right? Uh, L1, okay. And then, uh, when we're boosting, we can hit the brake. I don't know. It kind of breaks the... Uh, it doesn't break it all the way. So if you hold L, L2 and R2, yeah, we get the brake going and we're trying to accelerate at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Alright? So I'm gonna switch my other character now. I'm gonna you know, move over the Sparrow to my other character, and then we're going to buy the upgrade and show you exactly what it, what it does. All right, guys, so we're back at Xur. I have the rare Sparrow equipped on my uh, main character, so we're going to go here, and uh, yes, that's going to waste a lot of coins, but uh, it's okay. I have 48. Who cares, right? I, I'm going to still have enough for uh, probably buying the weapon uh, next week or whatever I need to buy. Okay, so here we go. It's, uh, we're going to buy the Emerald Coil, obviously. So let's do it. Okay. So that's cool. So we get a permanent upgrade in our Sparrow. So let's take a look at the Sparrow now. Uh... What? Okay. I thought it improved the durability, didn't it? It's still 100. Permanently upgrades an equipped rare Sparrow to improve speed and durability. Do I have to use it? Is it in my inventory somewhere? Uh, let's check. I don't see it. Oh, I probably have to use it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Use. And the rare sparrow is equipped, so that's a good check. So, actually, let's let's just try this and see if we can put a legendary on here and see what happens. No. Okay. So we can't change the contrail of the legendary, which is too bad, because, I mean, you know, it's purple. It would have been cool to change it to green. Anyways. All right, so let's use it. And then let's check out the uh, the durability here. Oh, so it, it actually upgrades it to a legendary. All right. So now it's a legendary sparrow, but it's still not, you know, as far as the durability, it's still lower than the uh, the actual legendary from the vault. 
Uh, so it's at 110, but it's 10 higher than it was at 100, right? Okay, that's pretty cool. We still don't have the uh, the, L, the L2R2 for greater speed at risk of, risk of exploding, but that's all right. So uh, let's check it out on the surface of the planet Mars. So we're going to go there again, and we're going to see the green contrail. Woo! All right, so we're on the surface of Mars. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, look at the green. Nice. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's so green. It's so lovely. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so that's it. That's it. So you had... 10% uh, to your durability, so, you know, if you're traveling along and, and Cabal are shooting at you or Vex or whatever, let's go see how long it takes for them to shoot me off my Sparrow. And we got the green, man. I think they're scared of the green, though. They're definitely scared of the green. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's really worth it to spend Vanguard points. Okay, so it's 175 Vanguard points to buy uh, a, a rare Sparrow, right? Just to buy it, so you could either, you know, preferably rather buy weapons and dismantle them for, you know, ascendant energy, maybe, or buy armor and dismantle it for ascendant shards to upgrade your armor, your other armor and weapons, or you could wait for a legendary, or you know, you can spend another how many coins to buy the uh, the contrail thing. So that's it. That's pretty cool. So it lasts a little bit. In front of all these vex and, and stuff but uh i don't know what do you guys think uh, I, I definitely don't think it's worth it i do not think it's worth it but i did it for you guys the things i do for you guys seriously um i spent a lot of vanguard points and uh and and strange coins to to get this for you guys just for the video just to show you guys what it's all about yeah definitely don't do it don't buy don't buy a rare speeder and don't buy a contrail upgrade. Wait to get a legendary speeder. That would be my recommendation. Okay? So that's it, guys. Hope uh, this helps. And we'll see you next time. Spider out.